I was in a small airplane, and all of a sudden, the engine on the wing caught fire. It exploded, and burning oil was poured all over the right side of the airplane, and we started to dive toward the earth. We were spinning down to our death. Oh, this woman across the aisle, I, I just was so sorry for her. She was just absolutely uncontrollably hysterical. And I was calm. I was totally calm. Even though I knew I was going down, down to my death, I was ready to meet my maker. We didn't crash. We didn't die. The spiral dive extinguished the flame. The pilot got control and started the other engine up. And we made an emergency landing out in the field. But I thought through that experience, if you've got a faith, you can handle difficulties knowing that with an eternal perspective that all will be well. In Luke 21, the earth shall be in distress, nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear. What we're seeing is a prediction that in these latter days, people will be afraid. Men's hearts are failing, and that includes women because they forget their identity and their purpose. The heartaches will come. I've lived through the death of a wife and the death of a daughter. I've seen the troubles that divorce brings. Children or grandchildren go astray disability, illness, injuries. To the individual who is weak in the heart, fearful in the heart, be patient with yourself. Perfection comes not in this life, but in the next life. Don't demand things that are unreasonable. But demand of yourself improvement. As you let the Lord help you through that, He will make the difference. I'm so grateful for the gospel of Jesus Christ that allows me that kind of strength in these tumultuous times.